Uh, what's up? My name's Leighton Flat. Name's Levi Light. We're two stand-up comedians from Springfield, Missouri. This is our first shot at a podcast. This is where we take a topic each week, and we have a 10-minute timer to discuss that topic. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel like we start these a fun way. The last one was me singing. I didn't even know you were going to leave that in there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to. <laughs> I put, so, a uh, fun fact, you can listen to our podcast on Alexa now. You just say, Alexa, listen to the podcast Road Trip Thoughts, and it comes right up. Yeah. Asia is listening. <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable. I don't Bezos. know why. Yeah, Bezos is on his yacht. Like, I wonder what these two guys think about fast food. <laughs> He's like, what's fast food? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, ah, oh, yes, I should try this Sonic they mentioned. My name's actually Jeffrey Jorgensen. Yeah, that's what, anyway, okay, we're about to get way off the weeds. I don't want to make fun of that guy's dork name. Uh, this week's episode, we're talking about uh, the I, the concept of smoking inside of various places. What is and is not allowed. Um not my style of smoking, like the dirty cigarette smoke. Yeah, the yeah. old cigarette, cigar, vape. Uh, so here's what's weird. Uh, I thought that it was widely illegal to smoke inside. I thought that was like the thing pretty much everywhere by this point in time. Until we started traveling to do shows, like, or when I started traveling to do shows like four or five years ago, and I realized, oh, the minute you step outside of any major city – even like if it's just like kind of like out of the city limits, immediately you start seeing smoking in bars. Yep. Um, and it's like it's always you walk in and you're just boom hit with that smell. And you start seeing the ashtrays on the tables. Um, but then I was like, well, surely we're good. Like you know, any major city that we go to, that's not true. We just did a show in Knoxville, Tennessee, that was smoking inside. Yeah, but they had those sweet bug zapper things. Yeah, that was fun. He had these basically it looked like two giant. They three. almost look like speed at three. Yeah, there was a third one over at the other side by the bathroom. Well, they look like giant speakers, but they were zapping smoke. So when smoke would hit it, it would go. Bzz, bop, bop. Yeah, and they look like a bug zapper. Just he bang. would not turn them off during the show. So the entire show, I thought, I was like, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> ah, tasing sound, ah, tasing sound. You'd be like setting up for a punchline. You know, you'd be running right up to the line like that, and then pop. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, well, there that goes. Right. So yeah. I don't know. So that was weird. Um, What's weird to me is like the argument on whether or not vaping should be allowed indoors. Cause to me, <laughs> it's like, indoors. like if you've got one of those big mods and you're blowing it in people's faces, I can see that's <sighs> just kind of annoying. It's, it's annoying, and like that, it's it's kind of one of those things where like the vaping, like you know, I got this little thing. I won't show you the thing because I don't want to get sued or whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got one of those, and I mean, you see me, I just hit it wherever I am. Like we're walking through a Walmart in Tennessee, and I'm just right. like, yeah, I'll I'll hit the vape. I don't care. Yeah, it's it's, nobody ever would, would really notice. Well, it's what, as long as I'm not blowing out a cloud, right? It's like I just hit it a little bit light, lighter than I normally would. I hold it in a little bit, blow it down. Nobody ever notices. Well, and the, I feel like we get nitpicky with the, so like we did a beach bar, an outdoor patio beach bar in Florida, and I wanted to smoke my cigars, and there's a huge sign that says no cigars allowed because I guess the smoke or is pipe too, tobacco or pipe tobacco. Yeah, they like basically the idea is that the smoke is too thick. And I'm Smells. like, but to, if 40 people are out there smoking cigarettes, I can't have a cigar. Right. But, I mean, in my head, I don't agree with it, but I get why they did that. You know, because it's like you got some guy who goes out and he buys the nastiest smell and most just obnoxious cigar he can find. And then he just hangs out on the beach for a week smoking them. Your bar is going to be empty. You know what I mean? Like, I don't just, think so. It's a big patio. Maybe. I don't know. But that or they've just had bad experiences, you know, their big embers thrown around. You know, I yeah. don't know. I, I can so, see that. <clears throat> but yeah. Well, and I was telling Levi, when I do cruise ship, like vacations or whatever, you can't, same thing, can't smoke cigars in a casino. Now, that's not true in stateside, because at least the casinos around here, you can smoke a cigar, as far as I know, of any size. Never tried. Um, I don't know. And then, like, also on a boat, there's it's weird because on the cruises, there's, like, this deck you can smoke. What's so special about that deck? Like, well, we put them all in that corner. And sometimes that corner is, like, right next to the kids' pool. Yeah, there's this is, there's no fine mahogany over here. We keep all the trash stuff, <laughs> like, like smoking in your kids. Yeah, that makes sense, though, if you think about it. You know what I mean? It's like smoking and kids. 
I don't like either of those things. Put them over there. You know, I, like, I get that. Good job, boat people. <laughs> we did one show where uh, they were they allow smoking, but we were like, hey, um, we've got some comedians and some crowd members that have told us that they're asthmatic. If you wouldn't mind not smoking for the duration of the show, that would really help us out. We appreciate it. And the guy looked at me and went, absolutely. And then just lit a cigarette in the front row. Like, it went... And he wasn't even trying to be a jerk. He just could not care less that we were. Where he's like, "No, nah, I have an ashtray. Ashtray means cigarette means yeah. smoke." He was more like, eh, it's, "Yeah, I'm allowed to. I'm gonna." Which now, I also don't. It's like you know what? I respect that. I'm not. I'm not happy with it, but I respect right. it. It's like, all right, buddy, you get it. And, I will say that it frustrates me on the like if I'm not a smoker, but if I was, airports because there's not anywhere they don't set up smoking pits on any of the ones we saw. Um, that's a guy who has several habits. That's that's an annoying place to be for me. Well, like I get like you can't smoke a cigarette in the airport. I'm like, all right, that's fair. But is there like a lounge or a, like a patio we go to? Nope. Yeah, I just hit my vape once again in there. I just took really big puffs and then I held them in way too long. You know, like being super unhealthy about it. <laughs> and then I just blow them down or like, you know, go in the bathroom, hit it, whatever. It was, you know, airport was. Uh, I still feel like you could probably get away with it on the plane as long as you weren't just blowing it out like an idiot. You know what I mean? Well, so with smoking inside, I, I met do it, but. I met the first person ever that told me they wouldn't allow dipping tobacco inside. Yeah, that's an odd one. <laughs> well, I just I was a new like I get the concept of like I don't want to sit next to a guy going <laughs> constantly, but I had never and I don't dip either, but I had never heard somebody be like I can't dip like I don't know. And I just, is that like a rule other places we just don't know because we don't dip? I mean, I, I mean, you would think because it is like, I'm gonna be honest. Out of all of the nicotine habits, that is by far the grossest. You know what I mean? Like, but it's also the one of the more it, non-noticeable if you're not paying attention. Yeah, I was gonna say just to juxtapose two completely different things. You know, you got that guy who didn't allow it at all, and last night the other guy was like, "It belongs in my beard." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was, like, yes. was like doing it while he was cooking burgers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the difference. I'm not gonna lie. I like the second one more. He was more fun. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah. that guy's gonna let me do whatever I want to do right? because he's doing that. Oh, I didn't even try to bartend. He definitely would have let me. Yeah, he might have smacked me though when I didn't charge people. I will say, whoever's putting like their dip pouches in bar bathrooms, it you is are insane. the worst, dude. There's been one at the club here. I don't know, just, you know, the blue room. Yeah, they've had one in the urinal there for. Ever. Is it still there? It, I mean, I've I didn't look the last time I was in there. I used the other urinal, this is, you know, the short people one. I thought it was fun. It's but not for uh, short people. It's for the well endowed. Well, that or just you know tinies, but uh, <laughs> tiny legged. You know, all the tiny, kids, tiny legs. Yeah. All the kids at the comedy club. You know, for those Greg Warren shows or whatever they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, I don't. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I don't know, and it's weird to me how many people still smoke. Like it's, it, I'm sure if you did some like investigating, you'd find out that the number is less than it used to be. Like it's not as frequent, but to me, it seems, and maybe because we work in the trash field of entertainment, <laughs> and that's yeah. where all the low income sad people are. But I see a lot of cigarettes. It's a, a it's lot, a lot. But uh, I will say, there's less people at bars than there used to be. Just in general, probably yeah. I mean, I remember whenever you know, because I'm 32. It's like whenever I turned 21, like, dude, most bars were like, oh, you got to wait a minute to get a good seat or something. You know what I mean? Like, it was, oh, you yeah. couldn't get around. And then you know, so I mean, is that it's like those same people are the ones that are smoking, like all the new kids and they're playing with their phones on their TikToks and whatnot. They're not smoking. You know right. what I mean? Like they see the commercials. Although I will say, uh, this is kind of a different thing, but on the same top topic of uh, commercials, there's an anti vaping commercial that I see on YouTube all the time, and it's like a, uh, it's a dude, it's like a black guy. Like, I don't know if that's important, but I said it. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's in the commercial, and there's like a big like robot. Just say, just say it's a Newport commercial. It's not at all. It's an anti commercial. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's like a big like, robot dragon walking around behind him, and he's like, vaping has toxic metals in it. That's putting metals in your lungs. That's metal in your lungs. And I'm like, this guy's just hyping me up. Like, I like metal. Like, metal's dope, dude. Yeah. You go tell me it's in my lungs? This is cool. I'm going to Let me vape more. It's a bad I, commercial. <laughs> Had the opposite effect. I'm trying to think of what other, like, smoking inside that's been a weird. 
I say, I think, I'm trying to think of the other major. It's weird when you go to a major city and they're like, "Yeah, we smoke here." The fact that just cigar bars exist is upsetting. But here's the thing: it's cool, but it's so, it's like, how's that happen? That's not even that. Like in Springfield, we have two places that I know of you can smoke inside. It's yeah, the Hookah Lounge, and it's I think they they can they are not allowed to like leave that location as far as I know. That's what they told me. Yeah. And then you've got just for him who has the same thing. Just for him, like they like got grandfathered in. Because they're a cigar lounge, yeah. they're not even a cigar bar. Like they don't serve alcohol, they don't serve anything but well, cigars. But you get what I meant, though. Just to yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, but that's what led me into. So we just got a uh, a tobacco store that is a cigar lounge and bar, but they don't. You can't smoke inside. Yeah, you have to go outside on the patio. Like it's it's a cigar place that you can't smoke in there. It's actually funnier because it's like, well, we can't keep the smell inside, so we're gonna make everybody else deal with it. <laughs> you know what yeah, I, mean? what? I, I don't. Yeah. That's fun. I, I, uh, my thought is that a cigar place, man, it's wild because when you go to like so, so our cigar place is in the strip mall, and if you go to anywhere in the strip mall, you're smelling that place, right? And that's why they're like, well, you're not allowed to move. The walls are yellow, <laughs> like straight up. If the Direct TV remote that they've had there since I was 18. Yeah. Is yellow. If you moved a picture on the wall that's been there, because they've been they've been in that specific room for like twenty some years, you move that. It, the you could see the original paint somewhere in there. Dude, that was like grocery stores whenever I was younger. Oh. Walls were just yellow. Like I remember when I was like real young. Like I mean, I it must have been like real early nineties. I still remember there being an ashtray at the end of every aisle. Like I like it. I don't tree. like no. it because it's like everybody's getting the cancer. Right. The poor, the poor kids is the, it's more what I'm worried about. Yeah, I don't think secondhand's that bad. Yeah, it's not good. I mean, it's not like I'm not saying like sit in your car and be like, eat it, Junior. But, you know, like, <laughs> that's not good. But Jeez. I'm just saying like, I don't know, like, the you know, they got high ceilings and ventilation in a grocery store. You're going to be all right. Yeah, I don't know. I like my mom showed me a picture today when she was smoking in the it was probably the 80s or 90s. She's just like in a daycare. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my grandma used It wasn't to, an open daycare, let's specify that. <laughs> my grandma would smoke GPC menthol light 100s while she cooked. Best food I've ever had in my life. Does the food taste like cigarette ashes? No. It yeah, it does. It doesn't. It just has that. If it does, then it's delicious. <laughs> I get why people are eating these things, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I do wish I could smoke. I, I, there's been a few venues I've got to do where I could light a cigar. But then I get to talking and doing jokes, and the cigar just goes out. <laughs> I don't know how Ron White did it. Waiting for Denver, baby. That's my calling. Or Cali. Yeah, yeah we won't or get to uh, listen. Just you know, we'll cancel a few more shows, but maybe we'll make it to Denver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get further. You cancel. You know what? If you know what? If you don't give it to them, they'll want it more, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. theory. Yeah. Well, hey, we uh, we're we're probably at our time here, but hey, we got uh, shows coming up. Whether you want to see us in uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas, this weekend. Uh, then we will be with Kristen Tuff Scott here in Springfield and Joplin, the July 23rd and 24th. Uh, July 30th, our roast battle is back here in Springfield, Missouri. Come hang out. It's always really well received. It's a lot of fun. And then we got a bunch of dates in August, Lake of the Ozarks, Bolivar, Missouri. Um, we've got some other stuff coming up, so uh, check us out. And uh, come on back next week for Road Trip Thoughts. Yeah. If you want to sponsor us, that too. Yeah, we'll accept sponsors. Ed, yeah, it's fine. I don't care what you sell. We'll sell it. <laughs> well, Road Trip's Thoughts, brought to you by Henry's. We don't know what Henry does. <laughs> yeah, just Henry. If you're Henry and you want to give us 20 bucks, we'll say your name. That's fine. Sweet. All, All right. right. Good night. It is true color.